beta males. Sharp Game here, coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com. I'm your trusted dating and relationship advisor. I'm that dude that will always tell you the truth. And nothing but the truth. So yeah, the rules that women give most guys in society are for beta males, not the alpha males. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I always say, if your woman is not submitting to you, whether it's your girlfriend, your wife, etc., if she's not submissive to you, she ain't your woman. She's somebody else's woman. You've lost her to somebody else. You've lost her to the preacher at church, the boss at her job, to her friends, somebody else. But she ain't your woman. And the reason why I say this is because, see, when, when your girl, your wife, Whatever you see her as, when she goes elsewhere, when she leaves the house, goes to the job, oh man, she's walking on pins and needles at the job. She's very submissive. She's, she's very tactful, what she says there. Man, when she goes to church, oh man, she loves the pastor. Man, he can do no wrong in most cases you know even if he even if the pastor does something wrong she'll justify why he probably did it without even con uh without even consulting the pastor and when her friends call for a favor oh man she doesn't even have to think about it she'll just do whatever but when it's your turn and you're supposed to be her man you probably got married to her. You probably been dating her for a long time. You probably been living with her for a couple of years. But when it's your turn, oh, she got to think about it. Oh, it doesn't feel right. Oh, it's all kind of excuses. You know, there's, there's this long discussion about why she don't think it's a good idea. And... She doesn't feel good about it because her friend told her something about it. And you said that the last time. And now you and you you're one of those guys. You're probably one of those guys that you t you take care of your responsibilities. You hold yourself accountable. You have standards. You have morals. Plus. You probably go above and beyond the call of duty. I'm just keeping it real you make sure the the family's straight. You make sure her family's straight and your family. But boy, when it's time, when things hit the fan, you you can't get anything out of this woman. She she's not supporting anything that you do. <laughs> It's always a, a big discussion of, of, of this ain't a good idea. So you going back and forth with her, you arguing and all this and that. But she ain't doing that at that job. And why is that? Why do you think that is? That's my question to you. You don't think you deserve the same respect as these other people that you don't even know. You don't even know their name at work. You don't even know some of these people at work. You probably barely know her friends. And you might look at her friends like, hey, you're not really friends with them. They, they just, you're just something to do to them. You can see it, but she can't see it. Not to be stressed out. But she, ho she hold them to a higher standard, like higher in high regards. But you, no, it's a different story. And all of this is just a lack of respect. 
That that's all it is. You know. Now see she 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 when it comes to you, she everything is is condi there's conditions to everything when it comes to you. Now with the alpha male or the guy that's in this masculine frame, she's running behind this guy. She can't control this guy. I mean she wants to be with him in some capacity. I mean, as a matter of fact, there's some women that get with these guys, just as myself, but they don't have a lot of rules with us. Not at all. They, Because a lot of these women know I can't control this guy. So, so either I'm in or I'm out with this guy. You know, that's how it is with the alpha male. And that's how it's always been. But when it comes to the beta males, oh man, everything look, everything looks good on the surface, man. I mean, she plays the part. Everything is perfect, brilliant. The best actors in society. Beta males make the world go round. That's how it is. But below the surface. A lot of these women are miserable. <laughs> a lot of these women are miserable. A lot of these women can't stand to be around the guy that they got married to. Or at least the guy that they quote, quote, committed to on the surface. Because in reality, they didn't really commit. To the, to the relationship. They didn't really commit to the guy. They just committed to the nest. They committed to the nest. Not to the guy. Not necessarily to the relationship. And now she's not being fulfilled. She's really not happy. So as time go on, you know, she got to slip out and be with the alpha male. <laughs> and, and, you know, and it, it, it could be a one, every once in a while thing, or it could be an ongoing thing on the side. But a lot of these women can't coexist with these alpha males for a long period of time because they can't have their way. They... See, there's no rules. She knows she can't control being with the alpha male. But she'll try in some cases. But the majority of the time, they'll settle with the beta guy. But the beta guy, you know, they can kind of control the relationship, manipulate him. And you know, for the most part, the relationship is gonna go the way she wants it to go. She's being taken care of because the beta male is the is a good provider. He's a nice guy. You know, he does what he's told. He puts on a pedestal. Whatever he wants, whatever she wants, he'll try to make it happen. Even if he has to work two, three jobs, he'll try to make it happen. But this woman is not really being fulfilled. She's not really happy because she's, in most cases, she sold her soul. She settled to be with this guy because the social pressures along with her, her mother, her family, her friends, because see the guy that she ended up with Oh, he she he looks good around her her friends. He fits in good with her friends, you know. So it's it's it just looks good on the surface. That's it. The relationship has no foundation in most cases. They don't really have anything in common. Yeah, they probably went to college. That's about it. They went to college together. 
Maybe they went to the, maybe they from the same city, same town. Uh, they hung around the same group of people. Okay. But they should have never gotten together in the first place. Because they have different values. You know, uh, but with all of that, a lot of these guys, they're not, they're being highly disrespected. <laughs> and they don't even realize it in most cases. They don't even realize it. They think this is a, a normal thing. They think this is just how it's supposed to be, you know? And eventually, the relationship falls apart, or it just gets very disrespectful. And sometimes they get a divorce, sometimes they don't. If they don't get a divorce, nine times out of ten, this woman's going to have a guy on the side. Like I said, it could be an ongoing thing, or it could be a, a, a every once in a while type thing. Could be a a one night thing, or just a couple of hours type thing. And the guy and her husband, her boyfriend, long term boyfriend, live in boyfriend. He's gonna be elsewhere at work. She's gonna be bent over. Getting what she needs from the other guy that she can't control. And she's going to give it to the, to, he's, she's going to put it down on the other guy. Like, like she never had it before. But she doesn't put it down on her husband like that. She doesn't put it down on the beta guy like that. The beta guy get the lazy suck. He he gets the oh, I'm tired. I got a headache. You know, he has to beg for everything. He has to negotiate for everything. But the alpha guy, oh, he doesn't have to ask for very much of anything. Very little. She volunteers. For as much as she can, as much as she can get, because she knows that her time is limited with the alpha male. This is just a common. Travesty <laughs> in this society. That's what I call it. A common travesty. Because there's nothing about, this is pretty, there's nothing about this that's inspiring. There's nothing about this that, that you're going to hear within the mainstream media. And the reason, and you might be asking, why am I telling this story? Because I, see, I've been on both sides of the coin. I've been the guy in my early 20s that used to put women on a pedestal tried to make them like me because I just didn't know any better and I just didn't know any better and it, it didn't work until I changed my approach and then I became the guy on the other side of the coin the alpha male, the guy in his masculine frame most of the time. And then my experiences with women drastically changed. It was almost unbelievable what was happening. At, at, at one point, and this is like a 10, this is like a 15 year journey. Some of the stuff that was happening, women were doing, I was like, whoa, man, I didn't expect that to happen. 
So, so now as I've gotten older and wiser, yeah, you know, I, you know, at I can kind of play both sides of the coin if I really want to because I have the experience and I pretty much can 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 predict the outcome. So, because you have to understand, it's in this world that we live in, it's a mind game. It's a mind game that that you know that's what it's all about today. If you can't control your mind, you're going to lose, and you're you're going to be taken advantage of, and you're going to become sheep. So hey, tell me what you think about this video. Tell me what's been your experiences when you put women on a pedestal, when you made them to be the center of your life. They say happy wife, happy life, right? If that's the case, how come a lot of relationships aren't working? So there's obviously there's something's going on in society. Maybe that's work for you. Maybe not. I would like to hear about it in the comment section below. So hey, you tell me your experience. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.